Hey gang, guess what today is? Today is the full moon for October. Well, this full moon is going to be quite interesting because we're getting ready for the holiday season and the weather has been quite interesting as we can predict, you know, I mean, we've had gone through so many disaster in 2023 you know 2020 started off with what else the huge roar of the pandemic three years later our weather our life has become into a total chaos and disaster whether it's in the financial world or whether it's in the political world or if it's the government or even our everyday life. Are we really eating real food or lab food? Is it GMO or is it what? You know, and so this is a time that we really need to use this energy in this full moon to get rid of things that no longer serve you already. I mean, I came back from LA, I spent the summer there, and you know, I, and it's funny, even though you come back to the same home, your eyes, your heart, and the way you think is changed, you know, and so, the same thing we need to evolve within ourselves every single day because we get lazy. We get really lazy to either exercise or watch our diet or see how much cup of coffee we drink or how much, you know, alcohol we consume or how much, you know, things that we do to just kill time just to make us temporary bandage and make us feel good so these are the things that we really need to confront and face i mean hey i'm guilty i haven't done i mean i used to do hot yoga bikram yoga every single day i mean i was hardcore i was disciplined and you know and that's what created what i am in my mindset and it's really important because when I say mindset, mindset can be triggered to go back and reflex ourselves to go back to doing things what we know that felt good. I mean, I can feel my body, I can feel my weight, I can feel myself not feeling healthy the way I did when I used to do Bikram Hot Yoga every single day. You know, now it's like, I'm lucky if I can kick it in there and, oh, I'm struggling. And the struggle is real. I mean, you're there for 90 minutes, but it's funny how your body gets in tune. And your focus needs to be balanced to that target. And that's how what this full moon really is comes down to figuring what we want to harvest, figuring out how the bloodness of the energy. There's a lot of blood scattering all over the world right now as we speak. Innocent lives are getting tormented to the core of humanity where we have to really, really come down to and figure out is this the life that we want to live? And so you only have this moment, really, 2023 is things that bothers you, things that really got on your nerve, things that, you know, no longer be part of what your lifestyle is because a lot of us change. You know, we have unbelievable Karens and snitches and people that did things to people that they thought they can do it too. They felt they have the superiority of them, but that's kind of funny because that energy bounces back to them and their characteristic of who they are. Do you really want that kind of people around you? Seriously? 
I mean, I have people say, oh yeah, we'll get together and we'll, you know, do this or that, and which is fine, which is great. But then at the same token, we notice our energy not focusing on that, right? We have that option to meet or not meet. We have that option to help or not help. We have that option to study and gain knowledge to your power or sitting there flickering social media, Netflix, because it does get addicting, you know? And so October full moon is in two phase is to re-energize yourself by don't forgetting to put out your crystals tonight. But most of all, re-energizing your way of thinking what you need to do because in two months, you got to say goodbye to 2023. 2024 is going to be a huge amount of drama, chaos, and more lives to say aloha you know i mean there's strikes that's going on that people probably forgotten the writer strikes the, the the movie star strikes and all that strikes right they can be easily replaced now with ai with robots with so many things that we can do so why are they going to be wasting you know that that power and give it over to someone else and so there's going to be a huge huge change in in how we perceive in the entertainment industry the media industry and how we get information so those are the key things that we need to look because like i said it's only going to get worse under this blood moon um, it's only going to get, because this is a final um, solar eclipse that's happening, it's very powerful. So once again, take out your cat, um, take out your crystals. You know, remember when we used to have our little um, ceremony out here during the COVID. And it really helps because it really helped me cleanse out myself and my power of helping people from the inside out and that's why i love doing my coco jour corner is because it really gives me the opportunity to reach out and share these magical energy that surround us it's only you that wants to change it's you the one who has to be in control and it's you the one to make the final breakthrough thrive the best thing that you can do within your heart we are all struggling. We are all struggling from every aspect. It doesn't matter how much richness you see in social media. The true richness is finding the real true people. You know, I mean, it was so cute yesterday. We had a full moon concert and they played their heart out in, you know, North Shore and Pupukea. Beautiful sunset that never ever ended. And it was really going back, way back, 18, 20 years ago. And here we are today, still having and yelling and screaming because they're really real and they're really true. So that's what I'm saying is bring in that good new energy. Don't put in energy that, that doesn't make any sense or doesn't even need your energy to make it into a drama we have enough drama that's happening in this world stay strong stay grounded and most of all stay in tune to your ikigai to who you want to be in the next two years because 2025 is a year of great welcome of wellness so don't forget to check out our your website at cocojour.com or at cocojourchannel.com. We'll be heading out to Millie Lenny's side next um, Saturday. We have back-to-back -back things. I was just talking to my mom about that. And we're going back to Nordstrom again at the end of um, November. So stay tuned. Got lots of um, information about dog care, skin care, 
and most of all, I'm actually working on another guidebook to share with everyone. So you can go right now to our website, sign up for our free Itchy Sticky Guidebook, and don't forget to stay tuned to get our next guidebook of You Shall See. So manifest things that you want to do, and most of all, let that be a way of bringing in 2024. Aloha. And don't forget to bring out your candles. <laughs>